everybody, this is Zaxter99. Today I got a video on how you can get your old videos. For example, an old VCR that we have sitting in the bottom. Maybe you find some old tapes like I did with some old family footage uh, or something important. Or maybe you find your old VHS, you know, uh, camcorder. You know, like one of those old style ones. And you want to get those videos of your kids or special moments or whatever thing you want to do is you want to try to get these off of this kind of material because over the years these videotapes and stuff like that not only do you run a risk of losing them okay but you also run the risk of the quality of video footage the quality of the picture being uh, degraded over time okay so these videotapes are not going to last forever the quality is going to degrade um, you run a risk of trying to play it years later and have the VCR or your camcorder chew up those tapes and then you got ruined media you'll never be able to to uh, repair so you want to try to get that stuff off these camcorders off these VCR tapes and get it onto your computer okay so that's what we're going to show you how to do today and the device I have to do that is the same device that I use to capture uh, video game footage for my PS3 and PS4 this also can record footage from you know other game systems as well whether it be an Xbox 360 and Xbox one or older game systems such as the Nintendo 64 Super Nintendo PlayStation 2 PlayStation 1 etc okay so we're going to show you today how to use this hapage I believe is how it's pronounced HB HD PVR 2 uh, gaming edition these are about 135 right now on amazon.com you might be able to find them cheaper if they're on sale or at a special website but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use this today um, on how to get the older kind of media from your camcorder and from your VCR tapes onto your computer. So we're going to do that and a vast virus database has been updated. And my computer is updating a vast. That's great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the HD PVR already hooked up. Now, if you're looking to hook this thing up to your PlayStation 4, your PlayStation 3, or your Xbox, or whatever, uh, there's plenty of videos and instructions on how to do that already. The problem comes when you look at these directions on how to hook this up to an older game system, or how to hook up your camcorder VCR to record footage on your computer. And all throughout the entire instruction manual, front and back, it does not tell you how to do that. Not even one word on how to hook up the common AVI connection. Uh, they, they call these the composite connections. And these are not components. These are what they call composite. Your yellow is your video. Your red and your white are your audio. So today, we're going to go ahead and take this, which comes from any of the older game systems, whether it be a Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 2, uh, the first Xbox, whatever you want to put on your computer, they're all going to have these kind of connections. And same thing with a camcorder. It has the same kind of connection. Uh, if you look here, it is, what do you know? It's the same thing. You see there that it has red I mean a white and yellow it doesn't even have the red all it has is one audio and that's it okay so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to hook any of these devices up to your PVR now right now if we look at the PVR PVR 2 that is we see that right now in the back I have a HDMI this goes out to my TV this is my HDMI in okay over here on the right hand side, or left if you're looking at it from the back, is a power cable. And then you have your little square jack. This turns into a USB and goes to your computer. And then the only other connection is this kind of flat connection that you have to push in a button on the bottom to release it. And this has a bunch of wires that connects to your gaming device. Okay. So what I have right now connected here is my PS3, okay? And it has component connections already connected. And there is one more, because that's only four, I think. Yeah. Where is the other one? There it is. 
All right, so let's get all these connections out here that come to the back. And this is the only cable they give you with the HD PVR. You don't have to buy any more cables. Uh, you should have everything you need already. Okay, so it's these five. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our PS3 completely. Okay, coming into the PVR. Hard to do this one-handed. Get some of this stuff out of our way here. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these cables completely coming from the piece, the PS3 and PS4. Now, another thing you don't need is you don't need your HDMI in to do this. So we'll go ahead and remove that as well. And if you look on the back of this HD PVR2, it'll show you that this. This one right here that I am disconnecting is it's the second one in. That is your HDMI in. We don't need that for this. All we need is HDMI out, go into our TV. And then on this cable here, it connects to the back where we have all these inputs. We're gonna go ahead and connect our audio video cable coming in, in this case from our VCR, but this could be coming in from anything whether it be your VCR or your camcorder, your old uh, video game system, whatever it is. So your yellow is your video. Your yellow is going to, this is the biggest question probably, which connection is that gonna go to? That is going to go to your blue, okay? So you connect that good. And then your audio, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna hook this to your red and your your red and green connection or anything like that. What you wanna do is these two black cables here, they should show red and white on the inside. Those are your audio cables. They're also probably taped together back here. Those are your audio. So you'll just wanna connect red to red on the inside again there. You can see that, just like that. And then notice how it's connected to the black one. Our red and our green here are not gonna be connected. The other black one should be your white if you look on the inside. Go ahead and connect that one to that one. All right, so now we got it connected. So now what you need to do is simply turn on your television. Let's that takes a minute to come on here. And then in this situation, we're either gonna turn on our camcorder, our video game system, or our VCR, whatever we're connecting here. I'm gonna turn my power on here. And in this situation, I am going to want to put in this tape. Make sure your tape is rewound. Make sure your game is in your old game system. Make sure your video cassette on your camcorder is rewound where you want it to start recording. All right, while you're waiting for your tape to rewind, what you can do is make sure your TV's on the right input. You'll wanna look at your particular TV and whatever HDMI cord you had going out from your PVR up to your television into whatever slot that was, that's what HDMI connection you're gonna to wanna to put your input on. So in my situation, mine is HDMI 2. All right, I'm having to go ahead and re-record this. So somehow I didn't record the last part of my how-to video here. So on your TV, basically, you're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure your input is on whatever HDMI that you have running out from your PVR, okay? In this situation, it's gonna be HDMI 2 for me. And when you get it on there, you should see a blue screen like this. Also on your Hapage Capture uh, recording software, it should look the same. Okay, and again, you wanna make sure that on here, on the video input, you wanna have, oops, somehow I just restarted this and it's on HDMI and it doesn't need to be. So let's go ahead and select that as composite. That needs to be composite. 
Okay. And then it should look the same. You should see a blue screen. It's probably going to be square if you have a camcorder or a VCR hooked up to it because remember they didn't have widescreen stuff back when VCRs and a lot of the old camcorders uh, came out like in the 90s and the early 2000s. Everything was square like this. So that's fine. We're going to record just, you know, exactly what we got on the device. And then if you want to go in and edit it and make it a widescreen or zoom in in the middle or whatever you want to do with editing software, that's a whole different subject. All we're trying to do is get exactly what we have on these tapes, on the VCR tapes, onto our computer. So, make sure your HDMI, is, the right HDMI is selected on your TV, whichever one your cable comes in from your PVR, out from out to TV on your PVR. Make sure whatever input, HDMI input that goes into on your TV, make sure you have that selected on your television. And then, we have our VCR hooked up to our PVR, so I'm going to have my son go ahead and hit play for me now that the tape is rewound. Go ahead and hit play, bud. I have that in I've got it foreign language. But it should start coming up here with whatever we're trying to record. And at this point, all we need to do is simply hit record. And now I'm recording some whatever I have on the VCR tape is being recorded on my computer uh, so that I can edit it later or do whatever I need to. And I'm going to be able to uh, save the quality of the picture that's on this VCR tape will be, re you know, retained on a computer hard drive more so than it will that old VCR tape. All right. Thanks so much. Hopefully this has helped somebody out. Uh, I hope this has, uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, be sure you go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. Uh, be sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe to me button right up here so that you can subscribe to me and you get all my future videos. Also, be sure you give me a thumbs up, uh, like this video if this has helped you. Uh, if it hasn't helped you, please don't just dislike the video. Please tell me why it didn't help you or what else I could do to help you out because that's really what I'm trying to do here is help you guys out. So I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching my video. This has been Zaxter99, and uh, this has been my video on how to record from all these old devices, VCRs, camcorders, old gaming systems that have the audio video uh, jack on your HD PVR2. Again, this device is about $135 on Amazon right now. It's going down in price. And I think that $135 to make sure you restore, especially if you have several of these videos on tapes and stuff like that, it's worth the price to go ahead and buy an HDP VR2 to get this stuff put on your computer. Thanks for watching. This has been Zaxter99 again, and have a good day. Or night, whatever it is in your neck of the woods. Thanks again for watching.